What is up guys? It is your boy Obble Dude. And today, before I start the video, I just want to give a shout out to Megaton and Bayrock um, for leaving awesome suggestions on my speedrunning video from yesterday. Um, great ideas, especially from uh, Megaton, just because I didn't even think about using like loot pills and stuff. Oh my god. Guys, if you have any other speedrunning um, things that I need to know, let me know either in the comments of this video or the other video from yesterday. But today we are doing a 50 ped mining run at um at fort what is it again my god i know it pandora yeah fort pandora we're back here again um it doesn't seem like it so much on video but i've been doing a decent amount of runs here and this place has been pretty good to me um believe it or not um there are those losses you know as as will happen but for the most part, I, I like this area. It's pretty decent. Um, I mean, I guess I'm a little biased because this is where I got my global. But, I mean, even still, just on regular runs and stuff, like, I'll pull a profit. Sometimes I won't. That kind of thing. This will be probably another one of those. Um, but I want to talk about something that I've been thinking about for a couple days. And that is, is Entropia Universe getting easier? Now, a lot of you probably don't know, because I don't think I've really mentioned this ever, but I started playing Entropia Universe back in 2014. That's when I got into it. Um, I, I heard about it. It's free to play, so I was like, hey, let's do this. And just like everyone else, you know, I wanted to play the game without depositing. Uh, kind of my main reason for that was just because it was a new game that I haven't heard about. It wasn't a new game, don't get me wrong. But I've never heard of this game, so to me it was new, and I didn't know if it was like legit. I didn't know if I was gonna get like, you know, scammed essentially. Not so much scammed in the sense of I just lose all my money, but like as a scam, like I put in my payment information and, you know, my bank accounts wiped or something. I I, I was really afraid of that, so I really didn't want to deposit at first. So I wanted to play the game for free, kind of like everyone does, um, probably for a little bit of a different reason, but. I, was, I tried that and I got very bored very quickly and then I decided okay I'm gonna put in a hundred bucks and I did that and like everyone else I lost the entire hundred bucks in about 15 minutes buying a bunch of stuff I should not have bought in at all um, so yeah and then I quit the game for a very long time and uh, but I still had some assets I still had a little bit of money in game where I could kind of just do some low-level noob stuff, hunting, mining, and it wasn't really costing me a whole lot. And then I started figuring stuff out. Um, but it made me think, like, when I first started playing this game, I was still, you know, doing the hunting and stuff, um, and mining as well. Um, this finder I have right now is, I bought this probably in 2014 when I should not have bought it at all. Um, but I kept it because I knew eventually I was going to need it. But when I first started playing... You know, this was a time where a good amount of the time the mobs wouldn't even drop anything. Like, you could kill a mob and it gave you nothing. Like, you know what I mean? And then, and there was no looter profession. And even when I started the game back up, I had no looter profession. Like, my looting profession was non existent. Like, it was at zero. Because when I came back to the game, it was after the, the looter update. So I was at like basically zero for that. Um, but I started playing the game again and I noticed that I was getting a little bit of uh, better loot than I was back in the day when I was playing. Um, because back in the day when I was playing, not only would there be no, no looters. Uh, I mean, there would be no looters. Now there's no, no looters. But back when I first started, there was mobs that didn't uh, drop any loot pretty good amounts of the time I think and the loot that you did get wasn't really a whole lot I mean even now I feel like even at that low level like when I'm just when I was just using the TT stuff and I had no looter skills or nothing um, I was still getting a slightly better loot and since I was getting a loot from every single mob it was so much better and then on top of that you know you have that update that happened not too too long ago where they kind of nerfed crafting uh, basically, they just kind of made it easier um, and, you know, a little more, you know, easier to skill up. So now it's like a little bit easier to get loot 
And not only that, it's a little bit easier to craft and kind of get into all the professions, I feel like. Um, also, all this stuff I'm kind of mentioning is just stuff I've noticed just from playing the game myself um, back then to now, basically. I'm kind of just comparing the five years of time I didn't really play all that much. So between professions and, you know, getting loot more often and, you know, the always looting mobs and the little bit higher loot, I feel like, in my opinion at least, that's kind of more attributed um, to the fact that more people are kind of not only playing the game and getting into it, but also over the time, because this game's been around for, I don't even know how long, but it's been at least over 10 years, probably more. I mean, I've heard YouTubers um, say that they were playing for like 10 years and stuff, so it's probably at least 10 years old, um, but I've only known about it for about five. But I mean, with how long it's been around and the fact with the real money and stuff, at first it's like probably going to be a lot harder because you know, the, the loot pools are lower. There's not like a bunch of money in the game, but as time goes on and people like keep depositing money and putting money in into the game, it kind of fills up that loot pool. I feel like, and I think that's why the game a little bit is getting a little bit easier too, because that loot pool is getting filled up. And even when that loot pool is being drained, I still feel like there's a, decent amount in the pool still um, after the fact just because of how much money has kind of been put into this game over the long years it's been around. So I feel like that's one reason why it's getting a little bit easier um, but at the same time I do also think Mindark wants to get more people kind of into this game and I think the one of the best ways to do that is to make things a little bit easier. Since you're dealing with real money and stuff like that you know, it's not going to be a whole lot easier, but I mean, just these subtle little, you know, increases in buffs or nerfs or whatever um, are definitely helping um, do that. And again, with all the money going in for over the past 10 plus years, you know, the game's had a lot of, um, the game's been able to save up a lot of assets to then, you know, reward players. So I think the longer this game is out for, I think the better the loot's going to be and the easier and the easier the game's going to be as well. Now overall has the game gotten super easy or just like too easy? Like World of Warcraft is a great example. World of Warcraft is a great example of what not to do. And since this game is a real cash economy, I don't think Mind Arc would ever do anything close to what uh Blizzard did. But for those of you that don't know, just real quick, you know, WoW used to be a very niche-based game, just like this, very niche-based, um, and it took skill. It took skill to actually, you know, get things and progress and everything like that, and it made the game fun, and it always made you look forward to doing something. Now everything's just nerfed and super casual that it's just not even fun anymore. I got me a... Grobo on video 83 ped 83 ped of Melchi. All right, that's what I wanted. I wanted that global on video Finally my biggest global on video yet 83 ped Actually, that's my biggest global ever Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah biggest global ever. Oh getting PM'd hold up Congrats. Thanks. Oop. I did not mean to do that, guys. Say hi, Tom. Not ho. Say hi, Tom. You're live. Mm. Mm. So pumped. So pumped. I'm so happy I got... Uh, that global. I can't remember if he's a viewer or not. <laughs> I was gonna say that he's gonna be in the video and say hi to you guys, but I don't know if he—I don't know if he's a viewer. I think he is, but I, I honestly can't remember. Um, but anyway, where I was going before I got that global. Um, damn, where where was I now? That global threw me off, man. That global threw me off. Uh, but yeah, no, that is actually my biggest global. Because my hunting global, the biggest one I got was 72. And then I got two globals mining. One global was 72. The other one was 50. 
and now this one's 83 and one global. So that's sick. So guys, this this spot's awesome. Like I've I've, I've been telling you guys, I love this spot. That's why I keep coming back here. Um, but yeah, has the game gotten easier in the past five years? Absolutely. Um, from my experience, absolutely. Between you know being able to loot more mobs, well, loot more from mobs, and be able to loot every mob, and then you know. Skilling up's a little easier too, especially with the missions. I mean, the missions have been out forever. I just didn't really care about the missions because at the time I didn't really know about it. But, I mean, overall, like throughout the whole span of this game's existence, um, this game has been putting stuff in to make it easier. And I think as time goes on, it's going to get a little bit easier, but it's never going to be super easy or easy like it is with world of warcraft that's where i was okay so with world of warcraft very niche game took skill to do very fun look forward to it casual as hell this game never would happen but i think it's kind of going in a similar progression you know what i mean like just in a very slower way and like i said about the money and the loot pool too the more this game is around and the more players that come in and the more people putting money in the game the higher the loot's going to be, the higher the pools are overall. And even if someone drains a pool, there's still going to be something decent in a pool. So, I mean, just with how much money has been put into those pools and stuff. Um, so I think in that regard, just from more people coming in and spending more money, the game's just getting easier naturally almost. You know what I mean? Like, I'm doing a 50-ped run. I made a 30-ped profit off that global. And I made my money back from yesterday's run or i will once i finish this run but yeah so we not only made a profit today but we're definitely making a profit i mean breaking even from yesterday's horrible run so this is definitely a good step up oh i'm so oh man yeah and that's pretty much all i have to say i think about entropia getting easier because that's all i've really noticed again i've only been not playing for five years i've had my account for like five years but I've only played like 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 the past four months have been the most I've ever played this game in those five years. Let me put it that way. And like before there was a lot of things too. Like I understand that when I first started as well, I didn't know the game. I didn't know how anything worked. I was doing everything wrong. But still, even if I was doing everything right. I still wouldn't be getting quite the loot I'm getting now and things wouldn't be quite as easy. Like I feel like today it's a lot easier to put in 10 bucks and keep that 10 bucks for a really long time than it was back in 2014 just from the loot in general. I mean, I remember I remember um I remember I'd like shoot a mob and I'd get a zero ped loot, but it was still a loot. It was the Calypso like bone samples. <laughs> That's all you'd get. Like that was, I remember looting mobs like that where it was just just that. Some sometimes there was like that like, you know, it was like now with shrapnel and then you'd get the bone samples. But I remember when I first started, there were times I didn't even get, you know, shrapnel sometimes. It was it was weird. I don't know if, you know, I don't know. And when I did, it was like a very small amount. Like I remember getting like a zero ped shrapnel before, like and I and then when I started this game again, my skills were just the same as they were when I left. And then I was getting more like 5 to 10 peck loots. And I'm like, whoa, okay. Am I just not remembering this loot or what? You know, like what's going on? Um, so based on the loot and, you know, what Mindark's putting in the game to make things easier buffing things which i don't really think they should have buffed crafting the way that they did um but they did um uh, but makes it a little easier and more fun and i don't think mind arc would really make something easier if they couldn't afford it or if it would be detrimental to the game um i think that if anything that's why they did it because they needed to get more of that money in the loot pools out there so i feel like doing it that way kind of gave them a better opportunity to be able to do just that what do you guys think you think i can get a double global again and get it on video this time oh my god that would be amazing i'm dropping somewhat near just in case because when i got the two globals um over the weekend that was like 
they were pretty close to each other. Not super close, like not the same area close, but like I probably dropped three probes and found another global. It was crazy. So just to sum everything up, because I really lost my train of thought with that global. Um, I think, yes, the game has gotten easier and by a decent amount in just the past five years alone. Um, but not super easy. Not easy to the point where it's not fun. You know what I mean? Like, me, I'm more of that person where the harder it is, the more fun it is for me. Um, the only reason I didn't really have that mentality when I first started playing is just because I didn't understand the game. It was that simple. You know, if I understood the game, you know, I, it would have been a lot better. And it would have worked out a lot better. So I'm going to say overall, yes, it has gotten a little bit easier. Um, but not a huge amount, you know. And I think the way that they made it easier is pretty good. Because it, it's definitely newbie friendly at that point, you know. Now, I guess that raises the question. How much easier or different will this game be in the next five years? Well, if I had to make a prediction from seeing 2014 to now when it came to this game, um, I think if anything the loot's going to get better. More people are probably going to end up jumping in the game and I think we'll be seeing maybe even better loots than we are today. Um, and then you know maybe certain things will get nerfed or buffed however you want to put it. I don't really know when it comes to this game if I should call it being nerfed or buffed. Because I mean making crafting easier can technically be a nerf in a way, but it's technically more of a buff because it's helping you. It's not making it harder or worse. It's buffing it. So I guess if anything, it's a buff, but do I think that more professions will be buffed up like that? If so, probably not by a whole lot, you know, maybe something similar like the looter profession that they came out with and stuff to make it actually better. Um, at least for hunting, maybe something like that. Uh, ah. You get one global in Mind Arcs, like, all right, you're cut off, big boy. You're cut off. So in the next five years, I think, you know, there may be a couple adjustments to professions again, maybe. Minor ones, probably nothing major at all. Um, and then just naturally from over time, people putting money in, playing the game, increasing those loot pools, the game's just going to naturally evolve itself in a way, too. I'm so excited because not only did I profit today, but I definitely made my money back from yesterday's shit show. So <laughs> I'm very happy. I'm very happy about that. Mindart gave me my money back so I can keep playing. And that's one thing too that I've noticed since the past five years. I think Mindart finally figured out, hey, if we at least like make it a little bit easier for people to get their money back, then they're going to keep playing. Because, I mean, let's be honest, if you spend like 50 bucks and lose it in a week because you like basically made nothing, chances are you're not going to put in another 50 bucks. Even if you're like loaded, I mean, unless you're so loaded, you're just trying to figure out a way to burn through money because you're just sick of looking at it. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. So I think that's another reason too. I think Mindark pulled a couple things just to kind of at least give people a chance to get their return from a run so that they can spend that money again, recycle it back in the pool, and then keep playing. Which is definitely a very smart idea, and it makes the game a lot more fun. In my opinion, of course. My god, it's 25 minutes. Still got 10 drops. Yeah, no, literally, yesterday's run was like so much longer, dude. Just because I had to leave all the because I, I would have been better off not leaving the claims around, dude. Because literally, I've been mining for like 25 minutes. And I'm going to be done before 10 minutes. Alright, so next speed run. Okay, yeah. That's one thing I definitely want you guys to let me know in the comments. This is something I really need to know. Because it seems like dropping the probes and then getting the claims after, theoretically to me, that sounds like it's faster. But in reality, I think it's a lot slower. But what do you guys think? Do you think I sh it'd just be faster doing what I'm doing now? Because I really do think that. Because it's like literally, there's no way it's going to take me another 10 minutes to mine. There's no way. So it's like doing it this way so much faster. <laughs> and I got a global too. 
Oh, I'm so excited. Grow bold. Oh, man. Imagine. I'm, I'm literally near the area where I got my two globals last weekend. Oop. I hit my dildo. So I'm I'm a little excited. I know it's not going to happen, but I am a little excited because I know there is that very low chance, you know. I mean, maybe if I was doing a 100 ped run, I could global twice because I know that's how I did it last time was just 100 ped run. Boom. Global twice. But Tom, thank you for uh, PMing me. I appreciate that. I forgot to say that. I was kind of distracted with all the globals and trying to remember where I was and, you know, where I was in the commentary. You know what? We're yellowing it. Double dropping. I shouldn't do it, but we're already in money. I'm doing it. Nope. I figured as much. I just, eh, I was feeling ballsy. You know what I mean? Oh, finally, I'll be able to sell off my Bloss stack now. Pretty pumped. Okay, we are good. That is the run. All the probes are dropped, as you can see. So now, let's go to our TT and see our totals. We already know we profited, but by how much? And did we make up for yesterday? We'll find out. You stick around. All right, guys, so we are back at our rusty, dusty trade terminal. And let's see what we made from our run here. So we started with 50 ped of probes. We know we have at least 82, but how much more do we have? 124 ped. That means, guys, that means we took a 30 ped loss yesterday. We made that back, which would leave us 94 ped. Then we went out with 50 ped which means we made a 40 ped profit today and broke even yesterday. But if you don't want to think of it that way, just think of it. We made a 74 ped profit and then with markup even more like 75 ped profit. Dude, we're back in the game again, baby. Oh, it's so good. I love it. I love it. You see, you got to have a bunch of bad runs so that you can get super excited and have this good run. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm glad I got a nice little global and surprise for you guys while I was kind of talking about random stuff. So drop a like on the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.